Hello world. I've been asked to consider uh, presenting ideas on how to create stairs in SketchUp. And I, th I think there's like any other way uh, or any other thing, there's 15 different ways or, or 1,500 different ways of making them. I'm just going to show you a few that I think are pretty easy uh, to use and quick. Uh, and in keeping with the rest of my videos, it's the, I the idea is that it's a bite-sized um, amount of information, so five minutes or less. Uh, so I'll do what I can. If there's something else you want to see specifically, as always, um, comment below and, and uh, make sure you're liking and sharing. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with a simple plane. Um, and what I'm hoping to achieve with this plane is uh, the idea of, um, sorry, the idea of uh, monolithic stair. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a mass. Um, and extrude that up, let's say eight feet or something like that. Um, and actually, you know what? I do want to do a plane. I don't want to do a mass. So I'm going to just keep the plane, um, reverse the faces, and then I'm going to draw um, this monolithic stair. And monolithic stair is, is what it sounds like. It means a, a stair that is one piece, uh, either poured or, or whatnot. Um, so I'm going to do the monolithic stair. And I'm going to start simply by drawing uh, the profile. So I'm going to come up about six inches near Jeff's feet. I'm going to come to the left to create the nosing about one inch. Again, vertical, one inch. And then back about 11 inches. And that will give me my stair tread uh, depth. So I just needed the line work. And then I'm going to do uh, a copy and paste. So using the move tool, and I hit the control button, and the control button gives you the little plus symbol. That means I'm going to copy that thing. So I hit control, copy, uh, point of origin to new point. Now I've made two of those. Uh, if I hit the X button without touching the mouse, X and then I do 10, um, I'll get this result. Sorry. Um, technical error. I get this result. So it exploded up 10 steps. And then uh, that's all I want to do for today. So, or for this type of stair, I should say. And then you should normally uh, finish a stair with a three foot landing or something like that. So I'm just going to type out three feet, enter, and then down. Now, this is what, uh, at least what I call a monolithic stair, uh, well, stair profile. And then we're going to extrude this one out. Um, oops about, uh, let's say, five feet, not five inches, <laughs> five feet. And then you have a monolithic stair. Now, monolithic stairs probably don't have that one inch nosing, um, but you know, it's, I, I like to add that detail, um, especially if you're gonna add materiality to it, you change your mind that you don't want it to be uh, monolithic, but in fact, you want it to be, you know, wood with stringers. So I'm, I'm actually going to change my mind on the fly. I'm going to make uh, wood, wood, wood treads um, and then stringers. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. And there's probably, not probably, I'm confident there's a better way to do what I'm doing. Um, but for this purpose, I'm just going to keep going with it. Um, stringers are, are the things that, um, that give the, are the structure below the treads, right? And so generally they're about a foot below or something like that. So I'm just going to eyeball this guy because I'm not super worried about it for, for our purposes. I'm just trying to explain how this works. Um, and then I'm going to extrude that back. And then there we go. So uh, it's still a monolithic stair. It just isn't uh, poured to the bottom. It's, it's, uh, it's using, um, uh, using these ideas of of a, a poured in place, like a precast uh, system. So there's uh, the first stair idea, super simple, super easy to do. Uh, I'm going to collapse my material list and then I'm going to move on to the next one. So the next one is actually, I think probably easier, but using a lot of the same, same ideas. And that one we're going to uh, just draw out the stair tread. So in this case, it's uh, five feet, um, sorry, feet by uh, one foot. And so there's our thing. 
and we're going to uh, extrude that up one inch. And uh, I don't know if I've conveyed this to you all uh, necessarily yet, but it, it it's my belief that your um, everything should be a component. I didn't do that with the monolithic stair, but this is a, an assembly of pieces. So um, I think you should, before you do anything else, make this a component um, and hit OK. And then I'm going to um, just draw what would be my um, rise, my riser at six inches. Um, yep, six inches. And that's just a guide. So what I'm going to do this next, right? So I click the uh, thing I want to copy. Uh, I'm going to move and copy like I did previously. So move, um, press the control key, copy it up to that new location, hit the X button, 10, and now I have uh, 10 uh, stairs again. Super simple. Um, now you may say, well, yeah, but you need a riser, right? That it, that it, it can't be just that. Well, if you wanted an open bay riser, uh, sure. Um, but if you didn't want an open bay riser, here's where it's helpful that I left, I made these components because now I can simply add the riser to this piece. So I'm going to use extrude again, but this time I'm going to hit the plus symbol and that's going to create a new extrusion. And I'm going to do, uh, again, one inch. And then I'm going to move up the six inches that I had already established. And now, because they're components, um, I have treads and risers. Super easy. Super, super easy. Now, there's another version I'm going to show you that is probably a little harder. Um, not harder, but maybe a little bit more laborious or, or um, time that takes more time. Uh, and that's sort of the, the true push and pull uh, idea. So um, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to create first a rectangle. And I'm going to make it, I don't know, um, five feet wide. I keep doing that. Five feet wide and 10 feet long, right? So there's my rectangle. And then I'm going to extrude up that amount, um, again, eight feet. But this time, actually, no, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to extrude it up one foot, right? Um, but this time, I'm going to simply draw line work. In this case, um, I'm not going to draw. I'm going to copy. I already have line work. So using the control button again, copy, click once, drag over one foot, and then X 10 again. Now, and this is this will be monolithic also. Now I'm going to I'm going to extrude each one individually. So that's going to be seven inches. That one will come up to match using the align uh, feature, and then another seven inches, and so on, and so on. Oh, no. <laughs> oops, uh, so on and so forth. Right. So you can see um, why I was saying this one is a little bit more time consuming. Um, you know, but it's just another way of doing it. Uh, I'm not going to complete that. You get the idea. Um, so hopefully that that explains just a very quick uh, three ways. And again, there's way more options than that uh, of creating stairs. Now, if you want to get super funky with um, the balusters yeah, uh, and, and maybe maybe it's cable suspended in glass, if that's something you want to see, again, comment below, and I'm happy to provide um, a, a tutorial on that. But the intent for this one was just to, to give you an idea of, of how to make stairs, several different ways of making stairs. Um, yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching. If you found this video valuable, please like and share it with others. If you're not already a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe to my channel by selecting the profile picture below. This will take you to my channel with videos like these and many others on topics such as Revit, SketchUp, and Log Tools. And videos such as these in the playlist next to you that are specific to this topic. Have a great rest of your day.